What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the main account. We finished out the event in the last video, so go check that one out if you haven't just yet. Now we're going to see what we're going to be doing with our Vesa, because of course we have a lot more resources now. We should be able to get this up to 40, right? There we go, so we got 40 done. Now what happens once you get to 40? And to get to past 40, to break through, you essentially need to feed off a 10-star hero. So this is where, like, it's almost like this is Origin 1 now, where we have E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, V1, V2, V3, V4. This is now Origin 1, I guess we could call it. So we're going to break through, do that right there. This is where her level cap is now gone up to 20. She's now not VIP, or she's not E11 or anything. She's, like, Origin two i guess i guess we could call it that now and uh part of it is she gets even more speed holy cow that's a lot of speed that that's that's a lot of speed um now what you can also do is you can actually come in here and you can awaken these things these are the sublimations that we were talking about these are the things that you see on the tree branches the first one of course is going to be the actual active ability the other three are going to be i think you have to do them in order and basically what you're doing here is you're modifying uh the way the hero works now we do have some chests, I believe, right? We only have the 100 of the active skill. This is where these are going to come in and play a big role here. Now, what? Oh, man. I hate when they do that. I really hate when, like, you have to come back out and look at each one. So we want the one that has, like, this the swirly swirl. <laughs> Essentially, the essence sublimation for the active skill. Okay. Now let's make sure we open the right one. So good thing they're in the right spot. We get 90,000. So 90,000 from one of those chests is essentially going to let you get two of them, I believe. You're going to be able to do the first one here. I think they're 45,000 each to keep going. So in reality, you can get one of these completely done. I don't know if you need to have all these done before you can work on the next branch, though. Healing received is kind of cool. This one is the skill damage. I don't know if I really like that, to be honest. Uh, we do have the 45,000, though, and we're only going to put it in one hero anyway. So we can do that, and you can see it's lit up. Now this one's the locked. Whew. Okay, so one thing that is going to take a bit of time, and in reality, this is where I have to decide. As you guys know, on our star spawns, we're getting pretty much done with them. We have a little bit further to go here. And a little bit further to go here. But in all honesty, these things, like, I can get them from other events. Because the big part of this is these chests right here. Technically, you can use them for star spawn cores. Or, which I think is the proper thing for endgame accounts, is going for this. 252,000 of these. So, that's what we're going to do. Because I want to at least show you guys what this is like. Um, now, the quick upgrade button is tricky here because it's not like the other ones where you click it and it tells ask you how high you want to go it's just gonna max it out at one click so we have another 10 start we're gonna feed off this time breaking her through even further <laughs> going even further beyond um okay so 2185 goes to 2185 so we gained like 22 32 32 speed pretty much every time this is kind of crazy and now she has that three up there which is just absolutely insane okay now this one modifies her ability here and this is why i didn't want to go like all in just maybe on the first node here as much as i like those what are these precision shield strength i kind of like shield strength there's so many things I like, and we don't have enough chests to do everything that I want to do right now. So um, we only have one more. I think I'm going to go for the second one here. I think. I think. <laughs> oh, or is it better to go and just finish each tree branch at a time? I don't know what I want to do right now. Because, like... 
Extra healing is pretty solid, but no, it's better than healing. Extra shields. Precision doesn't do much. I mean, the one thing, like, the first node on every one of these is, like, offensive-oriented, which is kind of cool. Precision. If you guys didn't know precision, you get, uh, what is it, 30% of your precision gets converted into plus attack as well. I really like deep sublimate. I really like this one. Giving people with high, like, if she's going first in a lot of battles, gives them 15% uh, more shields. Although reducing or increasing team's armor is nice, too. Oh, I don't know. Either way, I, I really want to increase this. Like, the actual abilities are important. So I think what we will do is we'll come in here and we'll at least use it on the second one. Just so that we can, at the very least, get it going and unlock it. We're not going to really save these up for another hero, I don't think, just yet. I think we want to kind of focus on one hero. Sublimed. <laughs> so weird how it sounds. And, of course, we'll do this one, too. Now, we still have more, but I don't know if I want to go too much higher on one hero or I want to start investing in multiple heroes. One thing we can do is we can get Vessa's core going as well because we have that chest. You have to use two of these chests on the Vessa ones because you only get 50 each. Uh, core of Origins now. We have shards. We can fuse it, and we now have a core. Oh, God. Why is Cell even a button? Why is Cell even a button for a hero? God, now we can chuck this in here. We can enter and we can increase this. So, ooh, <laughs> well, 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 this is the first decision you have to make because like I said, for those who are spending on this event, you kind of have to decide what you want to get out of this last spot because you have three more claimables. In reality, if you do this again, you can up it to a two-star sublimation, or not sublimation, uh, core. <sighs> Interesting. And this looks like it can go all the way up to eight as well. So you can see the difference. 400% goes up to 1,200%. Uh, 80% chance. Oh, wow, an 80% chance to clear debuffs when it goes all the way up. Grants shield equal to 100% starts at 35%. Then gag order goes up to one. I mean, it's pretty insane. This one I've been really wanting to because it says during battle restores HP equal to 400% of her attack to allies except herself with less than 50% of HP and grants them a shield equal to 35% of that healing amount. And has a chance to clear debuff. So that is really, really good for pushing new content. It also gives her more static buffs. Honestly, I really think I want to try to push the primary core up higher. More so than the tree branches. And then the other thing I got to decide is do I want to keep pushing this on one hero? Or is it better to have multiple heroes? I wonder what people are doing in like Trial of Champion right now. Looking at the top list. So yeah, we have people having multiples now. And I think that's kind of what I want to do is spread it out a little bit here. Honestly, I kind of regret going into my trees as much as I did. Because I could have used those on other heroes to get, like, the first node unlocked. And instead of going down to the second one. That's probably a better strategy. We could, of course, regress the hero, rebuild it. But I think I'm going to be fine with it. I think what I'm going to go is for a two-star. Because one thing you have to remember with these cores is you can only use the one per team. So you'll notice like when we go into battle here, there's this little flag up the very top corner. Uh, when you click it, it tells you you can pick which core you want and you activate it. So we got that one activated right now. So you can have multiple cores, but only one core works per team. I wonder if this was enough to actually push us past the point that we needed to beat this wave. Because the fact that it's going to heal them and shield them when they drop below 50% HP is a big deal. Plus, the shield is a lot stronger with the active ability. Wow. That shield is a lot stronger on that active. Holy cow. We would normally have a couple of heroes dead by now. It could work. So, right there, Jara did proc that heal and shield. 
it definitely helps the team out. Like, Jara would always be dead before then. This is interesting. I don't know. I'm confused now. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I want my Sun Devourer Eos, I think, to also be leveled up at least to at least to 01. And then we can break her through as well, which is good. We don't care about the core. <sighs> do we want to do that in multiple heroes? I don't know if we can afford to right now. Really just depends on what we pick on the chest. I think two heroes at this power level is probably good. I don't think more than two is necessary for us. However, getting to the next upgrade here is not going to be possible. I don't believe. I know I had a spreadsheet that talked about... Holy cow, there's people with full Origin 1 teams now. <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible. That's crazy. I mean, it could be fun, but again, we have to decide on how we're going to spend our chest then, right? No, maybe not. No, because these, these are sublimations. They're not the actual resources. The resources we're going to get are going to be from here. That's going to add up over the couple of weeks it takes to finish this. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All I know is Vesta is looking super beefy right now. <laughs> She's looking super, super strong. Look at that shine. Look at that shine that star has. <laughs> Formations now looking pretty nuts because you also have this extra spot here. I wonder if you can actually... Yeah, I think that's how you do it now. Um, the one big thing is this is going to mess up most likely star expedition quite a bit. Quite a bit. We're going to have to see what we do with Star Expedition then. Don't know just yet. But hopefully you guys enjoy this one. A lot of craziness happened. And I'll see you guys next time.